October 3rd, 2014 from Dodgers Stadium in Los Angeles, California was game one of the NLDS between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Los Angeles Dodgers. It's the National League Central Division champions took on the Western Division champions. And Clayton Kershaw was on the mound for the Dodgers and Adam Wainwright was on the mound for the Cardinals. These are two of the top pitchers in all of baseball. And Clayton Kershaw is a shoe-in to win the Cy Young this year. You wouldn't have known it from this game, though. It's starting off. He did get a strikeout with the first batter he saw, Matt Carpenter. But then here comes Randall. He's a berserker. Randall Kershaw takes Clayton Kershaw deep as he hit the home run to put the Cardinals up one to nothing in the first inning of this game. Holiday and Peralta would fly out, and then the inning came to a close, but that was after the Cardinals had scored that one run. So now in the bottom of the first, Adam Wainwright came up to pitch, and he struck out the first batter he faced, Gordon. And then Yasiel Puig hit a single, but then Gonzalez struck out. Kemp, Kemp got a single, and then Ramirez struck out. So after getting two hits in the inning, they leave runners stranded on the corners, and after one, it was one to nothing. Cardinals over the Dodgers. Clayton Kershaw then set down the Cardinals in order in the top of the second. In the bottom of the second, Wainwright struck out Crawford. Then Irbe got a single, and Ellis got a single. Then Crawford, or Kershaw, ended up sacrificing Irbe and Ellis over. So he had two runners in scoring position as Gordon came up to the plate, but he struck out and left the runners stranded because that would be a theme in this game for the Dodgers. So now in the top of the third, Clayton Kershaw set the Cardinals down in order for the second straight inning. And that brought us to the bottom of the third. So the Dodgers came up to bat. And Yasu Puig was hit by Adam Wainwright. The pitch hit him in the back. Adrian Gonzalez is the next up at the plate, and he ended up having words with Yadier Molina. His, the benches ended up clearing. It was a lot of fierce words spoken back and forth, but no one was ejected, and Puig and Wainwright ended up making up. So things settled back down. Gonzalez then grounded out and moved Puig over to second. Kemp then flied out. And then here came Hanley Ramirez, and he got a single, and that brought Yasiel Puig into score. So this game was now tied up at one run apiece. Hanley Ramirez then stole second, and then Carl Crawford hit a ground rule double that scored Ramirez. As the Dodgers now took the lead with the score two to one. So then Crawford ended up advancing on a wild pitch, but Irbe flied out and then he came to a close. So after three innings, the score was 2-1, to one, with the Dodgers now in the lead over the Cardinals. Clayton Kershaw then struck out the side, as so he struck out Gertrude, Holiday, and Peralta in the top of the fourth inning. So now in the bottom of the fourth, the Dodgers came back to bat, and A.J. Ellis started things off with a single. Kershaw then sacrificed them over to second, and then Gordon grounded out. And Ellis moved to third. So now Ellis was on third with two outs as Yasuo Pui came to bat and he hit a single to drive in the runner. And it was now three to one as Ellis crossed home as the Dodgers now extended their lead to two runs. Gonzalez would then walk and Pui was on second. So now Kemp was up with two on, two out. And he hit a single and Pui came in to score. So now Hanley Ramirez came up and he got out. So after four, the score was four to one after Kemp had singled to bring in Puig. And also earlier, Puig had singled to bring in Ellis, so it was now a 3-1 lead for the Dodgers over the Cardinals. So Clayton Kershaw now continued to pitch excellent after having left that home run in the first. As he ended up getting two strikeouts and sending the Cardinals down in order in the fifth as he was just setting them down. Now in the bottom of the fifth, Adam Wainwright let up another leadoff single, this one to Crawford. But he struck out Uribe, and now A.J. Ellis came to the plate, and he hit a two-run shot that made it 6-1. to one. As Now the Dodgers were in the lead by five runs, and now that was it for Wainwright as Freeman would come into the game. He walked Kershaw, and then Gordon walked, so we had two on. Now Freeman was relieved by Manis, and so Yasu Pui came to bat, but he ended up grounding into a fielder's choice, and then Gonzalez struck out, and that brought the inning to a close. 
is the Dodgers, although they had a five-run lead, they were stranding runners and racking up those numbers. Now on the top of the sixth, Clayton Kershaw got the first batter out, John Jay got on the ground out. Some Burroughs came in to pinch him for Menace, but he struck out. So now with two outs, Matt Carpenter came to the plate, and he took Kershaw deep as he hit a home run. It was the second home run that Kershaw let up in this game. First the home run in the first inning, and now the home run in the sixth. And it was 6-2 to two as the Cardinals cut the Dodgers' lead to four. Gertrude would end up out, and then he came to a close to the top half of the sixth. Now in the bottom half of the sixth, Gonzalez came in to pitch as Menace had been pinch hit for. And he ended up letting up a single to Kent. But then he got Ramirez to fly out, and then he got Crawford to hit to a double play and got out of the inning. So after six, it was six to two with the Dodgers still in the lead over the Cardinals. It's now in the seventh. Kershaw came back out and he let up a single to Holiday, and then he let up a single to Peralta, and then he let up a single to Yadier Molina. So now the bases were loaded for Matt Adams, and Matt Adams. Ended up singling to bring in Holiday. So now it was 6-3 to three as the Dodgers lead was just three runs at this point. Cosmo would strike out. And then John Jay came up to bat. And John Jay got a single. And he scored Peralta. Now Tavares would end up pinch hitting for Gonzalez. And he struck out. So now Matt Carpenter would come to the plate with the bases juiced. And he hit a double off the top of the wall as he almost hit a grand slam. And Yadier Molina, Matt Adams, and John Jay all came in to score. Is now the Cardinals had taken the lead with the score seven to six, and Clayton Kershaw was now taken out of the game. And while all this had been transpiring, there was a visit to the mound by Don Mattingly, but he left Clayton Kershaw in there, and it proved to be an unwise decision. Of course, hindsight's twenty twenty, but at this point, Clayton Kershaw let up seven runs and less than seven innings because here we were in the seventh with two outs so now Baez came in to pitch for Kershaw and he ended up walking the first batter he saw Gerchuk so now Matt Holiday came to the plate with two on and two out and he took Baez deep as he hit a three run shot it also brought in Carpenter and Gerchuk and it was now ten to six as the Cardinals had scored eight runs in the top of the seventh Peralta would ground out, and the top of the seventh came to a close. And now Carlos Martinez was brought in to pitch for Gonzalez. And he ended up getting the Dodgers out in order as he struck out Uribe and then got Ellis and Ether both out. So now after seven innings, the Cardinals were in the lead by four runs with a score 10-6, to six, St. Louis over L.A. In the top of the eighth, Yadimir Molina grounded out, and then Albert came in to relieve Baez. And he struck out the first two batters he saw as he got out the inning. So now it was at the bottom of the eighth. The Dodgers were up and Gordon grounded out. Yasuo Puig walked. Now Chote came in to relieve Martinez. Gonzalez then came to the plate and hit a home run. As it was now once again a two-point ball game with the score 10-8 to eight as the Dodgers were coming back. Nessa came in to pitch for Choti. is the only batter he faced that a two-run shot off him. And now Kemp grounded out, and Ramirez singled. Then Turner would come in to pinch hit for Albert, but he hit into a fielder's choice. And the eighth came to a close, but not after the Dodgers had put two runs on the scoreboard to make it 10-8 to eight as they trailed the Cardinals by two, heading into the top of the ninth. So J.P. Howell would come in to pitch for Albert. John Jay hit a single, and then Velasquez ended up sacrificing to move Jay over. Carpenter then flew out, and they brought League in for Howell, and he ended up getting Gertrude to ground out, and so the inning, the top of the ninth went to a close, and now it was the bottom of the ninth, as the Dodgers had three outs to score two runs to force extra innings, or possibly three runs to actually win the game. Rosenthal, Trevor Rosenthal, was brought in to close things out for St. Louis. He struck out Uribe, the first batter of the inning. Then Ellis singled. Then Ethier doubled. So now he had Ethier and Ellis in scoring position. And Gordon came up to bat. He grounded out. But Ellis crossed the plate. So it was now a 1-1 ball game 
with Andre Heath here, 90 feet away from tying this game as he was on third base. And now Yaxiel Pui came to the plate. And there's so there's two outs, one on. The, the go-ahead run, at the, if he ends up hitting a home run, they win. It could be a walk-off homer. The tie runs on base. Yasu Pui went down in the count 1-2, then he fouled off a pitch, fouled off another pitch, and then Yasu Pui struck out as the Dodgers lose by one game, by one run, and they lose game one. And so now the Cardinals take a one-run lead, one-game lead with a one-run victory. The final score was 10-9 to as the Cardinals win this game, and it was very exciting and very uncharacteristic of what you thought was going to happen when Clayton Kershaw and Adam Wainwright take the mound. Kershaw ends up getting the loss as he let up seven earned runs in this game. Gonzalez got the victory. Rosenthal got the save. Actually, in the game, Kershaw, only he lasted 6.2 innings as he has never made it past the seventh inning in a playoff game. He actually let up eight hits, eight earned runs, actually, not seven, eight earned runs as he left the guy on who he was responsible for who came in to score. And then he ended up with ten strikeouts, though, so he did have that. But those two home runs and those eight earned runs really what did it is the Cardinals proved that they can score on anybody. Matt Carpenter was two for five. He had four RBIs. Holiday was two for four with three RBIs. Gertrick had that home run as he was one for four. He also had that base on balls as he came across the plate twice. John Jay was two for four. And then for the Dodgers, Puig was two for four. He had that one RBI base on balls. We struck out at the worst time there in the bottom of the ninth with the runner 90 feet from tying the game. Ellie Ramirez was two for five. Crawford was two for four. Crawford and Ethier both had doubles. Ellis and Gonzalez both had home runs. But Matt Carpenter and Holiday and Gertchuk had home runs for the Cardinals. And the Cardinals just outscored the Dodgers in a slugfest. So the final score was 10-9, to 9, St. Louis over L.A. as the Cardinals now have a one-game lead in the NLBS.